I'm Danica Lohr, here in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Treaty 6 territory, home of many nations and homeland of the Métis. It's a place where people have gathered to listen and tell stories since time immemorial, for tens of thousands of years. I'm really grateful as well for my storytelling friends in Alberta. I met many of them through the Storytellers of Canada, Contour de Canada, I loved the Tales Storytelling Festival in Edmonton, both at the fort and in the Old Strathcona area. I was a workshop participant, an audience member, a teller, and for the last couple of years I was the volunteer coordinator, even though I'm all the way here in Saskatchewan and not in Edmonton. That's what community does, it brings you close, and in these weird times when we don't get to gather in church basements and around kitchen tables, we have these wonderful opportunities through technology, video, and Zoom. So I'm grateful you're here with me today. Here on the prairies, sometimes the weather is almost like another character in the stories. So I'm going to tell a weather story today, but not a story from today, because as I look out my living room window, it's very white, it's very gray, it's very cold. I think it's minus 27 this morning, with a wind chill that takes it close to minus 40. The weather takes hold, and it's always part of us. Now I'm going to go back about 20 years with this story to a tiny little golf course and campground close to the Alberta-Saskatchewan border, a little place that's not very far from Lloydminster. It was hot. The kind of heat that you can see rippling on the air. The kind of heat that it's, it's so intense that even the mosquitoes are buzzing and flying a little bit slower. I was standing on the deck of a house trailer, just watching, and a storm started to roll in. Beside me was a young man. And as we watched that lightning, we counted like my dad taught me. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand. Because every second was like it being a mile away. And we watched that lightning crackle and we, we heard that thunder roll and begin to boom as it rolled in closer. And Aaron looked at me and he said, I don't really like storms. And I've, I've always been someone who loved to stand and, and watch nature's beauty, that electric current flowing. But he looked at me and he said, Danica, I don't like storms because when my uncle was the same age as me, he was struck by lightning and he died. And everybody says I look just like him. And he said, if the storm it's any closer. I'm going back inside the house. And from inside, Red yelled out, I'll be out in a minute. I love the storms. And all of a sudden, one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand became boom! And we were thrown. Aaron and I were tossed into the porch several feet away. I landed against some old wooden stairs, and so I was still standing, and I thought, oh no, I've killed this kid. But I felt around at waist level, and all of a sudden I felt his spiky gelled hair, and he was sitting up, and my eyes were dark and I couldn't hear and my ears were ringing. But we stood up and we went into the house and Reg was on the phone and that's why he couldn't come outside. But he said fire shot out of that phone jack. The internet dial up of course was fried completely and it took days for the phones to get back. Now, the young man who I was standing with and I were shaking quite severely, and it took quite a long time for my eyes to be able to see and my ears to be able to hear. 
days, in fact, for the ringing to stop. And there was some strange tingling in my hands that I still sometimes feel for one reason or another. It was weird because lightning comes up from the ground. And that same strike that threw me and Aaron into the porch also hit a transformer on the back of a motorhome. Fire shot out of that. It hit a fire pot where logs were burning and about a dozen people were sitting around and pieces of wood and flame shot out of that fire pot. Someone was walking their dog past the ball diamond and they saw it hit the metal backstop and fizzle through. And all of those strikes, and not a single person was injured. Someone even said that there was a call from the Discovery Channel because it was kind of an unusual strike. So the weather. The weather's a character in that story, in my story. And as with every little step on our journey, every time we go outside and take that risk of being hit by a car or struck by lightning, it helps us to see just how precious every moment is, even in these strange times. So hello and thank you to all my storytelling friends in Alberta and everywhere else. I appreciate you and I'm glad we have these times to share stories.